or you will burn your house down. What did? What are you laughing about? Did you find something? What's so funny? What are you laughing about? You're like giggling maniacally. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Land Lady and welcome to my channel. All right, well, we are on the road again. We are making a quick trip up to New Jersey. So we are at Fogelsville. Goodwill again. The last two times we've been here, we have had very good luck. So I'm hoping we can score some goodies that we can buy and flip for a profit. So let's head in and see what we can find. Here we go. All right, well, it's a little crowded in here today, so we're going to take it slow and avoid all the people <laughs> as best we can. What do we have here? Is that Santa? It's a Santa doctor. They're in that bag. It's a nice little candlestick holder. Two ninety nine. It's got gold flakes in there. I'm having a hard time with that one though. It's very pretty, but I'm just not convinced. Apartment 56, little trinket box. It is sweet. Nah, I guess I'm being picky. I'm being picky. What can I say? What is this up here? Ten dollars. Do not let candle burn within one inch of figure, or you will burn your house down. What did? What are you laughing about? Did you find something? What's so funny? What are you laughing about? You're like giggling maniacally. Oh my gosh, are you are you serious? <laughs> what? Mm. No! I'm over here just blah 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 and look at you. But here's a glass pineapple. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even. Looks like Lennox. Lennox. That's made in China though, so that's more contemporary. That was made in USA. What is that? Do you think, Andrew, do you think that's a little perfume? Probably. It's made in USA. It's, yeah, it's better Lennox. Grab that. Yeah. The other one was made in China. Made in China Lennox. Yeah. So there's some interesting figurines. Yeah, they're cordy. Look. I'm surprised there's not more damage on them, honestly. There's a little bit of shipping, but they're not terrible. Do you want to grab them? They, I mean, they go together, the boy and the girl. They're cordy. By Bullslaw Sibis. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, look. Mm. This one's actually signed. There's not a whole lot of chipping to the flowers. Let's see, this one didn't have any chipping. Yeah. I mean, they're decent. All right. Ah, what does it say on the bottom? Cordy. Mm -hmm. Cordy Mine's bird. Got a little itty bitty there, a little itty bitties there, but the leaves are all complete. I mean, it's in decent condition. Yeah. I don't see it missing any I mean, Cordy doesn't anything. have tremendous resale value, but it does have resale value when you when you get it for $3.99. Heck yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. They're really cute, That even. Like little... I like the bird one. Little kids. Yeah. Oh, I love the bird. That's my favorite. So, but what is that? that? Oh, what does that say? I don't know. I kind of like it. Unfortunately... We've got a giant chip there, so I think we'll pass on that. This is made to look like Wedgwood, but it's made of a resin. Is there Williamsburg reproduction, I think? Yep, Williamsburg pottery. Angel's got a little iridescence to it. It's 
fire and light. Just kidding. <laughs> what have you found now? Kind of like it's made in Peru, but I like the detail to the child's face. Yeah, it's like, like part it's of a really um, almost like a nativity scene. Yeah, and you just have to find the rest of the nativity. Good luck. Like no, I do too. Let's see what else we can find. We've been doing pretty well with stamps, but I think our stamps were just kitschy and fun and weird. Um, these ones are. You know, a dinosaur, cats, they're just kind of plain, in my opinion. You know, they're not fun and weird. Right. These one, more stamps. Oh, that one's really sweet. What is that? Can't really. Re oh, Dragon Flying, a stamp of Rosa, 1998. How much is that bag? $4.99. I kind of like that stamp. Angels watching. And a little penguin. I don't know. I, th I like this one, so I think I'll grab this bag of stamps. This is kind of a pretty piece. That looks like Lennox made in USA. Vibrant gold on that piece. This looks like it's Japanese. And I think we're going to go check out some of the baggies next. Kind of a nice cobalt basket there for $6.99. I did just buy a Fenton basket for $40 something dollars though yesterday. So I don't know if I need that one. Alright, well, kind of slim pickings now. Andrew started it off right with those Fenton figurines. <laughs> he really set the tone. Meet in China. Little nutcracker guy down there on the bottom shelf. Down here, what is this? Look at me looking at plushes. Moose. I don't know what that means. He looks like a Shopkins. Little EAPG ones. Yeah. I think those before. are made in Sandwich, Massachusetts. I think, yeah, we have had those before. And I love your little calico critters. I just found that on the show. Yeah, look at this. That's kind of a cute little canister. Hmm. I like that. That's vintage. Was sitting on the shelf right here. So stick that in there as well. Careful not to harm the cordy or the fin. I was making my way back to check out the purses and this fabric caught my eye because it was kind of hanging out. I mean the yeah, fabric, this is, this is that's what I'm saying. Like the fabric looks, and it's got, yeah, it's yeah. Oh yeah, I think it's definitely homemade. And the fabric is really interesting. I I like it. We've got mannequins at the shop. We might as well clothe them and list some clothes. I mean, I really like that. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that's great. All right, watch out. She's trying to get by you. I don't want her to hit our card again. <laughs> Do you want to, um, I think we should go for it. I like it. Yeah, let's do it. Vivian Westwood for Bracciolani. Ah, that's a different designer. That one sold for $237. Yeah, that's a cute little purse, though. I mean, for only $6.99. Let me say for $50. Kind of all across the board. John Lennon. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So, I mean, their bags are not bad bags. Yeah, let's grab it. See, the longer I dilly-dally and walk around, the more stuff you find. <laughs> Department 56 Santa. Yeah, he's clean, too. That's great. I like him. I like his design. Oh, yeah. That's kind of an interesting design. Very sleek. I like that. Yeah. Cool. 
So this is still on the bag, but it says pen, and then the bottom says pen wax works, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, red. Is that just a massive candle? I'm kind of curious, and I want to know. It's not one They're big red. candle. You think it's like a bunch it's, of yeah, it's multiples. Multiple. Yeah. Well, that's less climactic. I'm ha half tempted to pay $2.99 to find out if you're right. Oh. Just untie it and then retie I it. I mean, technically, then that's cheating. How is that <laughs> cheating? All right, well, you're working on that. I'm going to look over here. We did not look through this aisle. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh. Is it one or is it multiples? It's one. Oh my gosh, and it's super cool. Yeah, it's like a melty candle. I like it. Okay, I'll buy it. Tie the bag back up. <laughs> All right, well, the total spend there was $62. Andrew started it right off on a very strong note with those two vent figurines. Um, but I feel like we got some really good stuff today. I'm pleased with everything we found. Um, it was a little bit rushed. I feel like we could tack on some additional footage here at the end. And we actually went to Goodwill the other day and I think we only got like 10 minutes worth of footage. So I haven't put it out yet, but we may tack that on to the end of this video and you guys can enjoy that. So um, I guess here we go. Well, we are here today at the Goodwill. We just finished an auction pickup, so we've got the back of the truck full of goodies. But we're gonna head into the Goodwill now and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit, so here we go. Look at these tables. It's a shame they're in such rough shape, because they're... They are cute. Could they be fixed? No. No. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I like them. Just another project though. Oh look, it's a drone. That's fancy. All right, well this is the metals section and usually it's just silver plate. I've never found any silver here at this Goodwill. But it's worth checking and seeing what we can find. Oh, look at the horse there. That's an interesting looking horse. It's got some age to it. Doesn't appear to be any damage. Look at the bottom. Oh, and it's marked too. Looks like it might say California. I'm having a hard time reading it, but I like that. So I think I'll stick that in my cart. It is $6.50 though, so hopefully it says something good on the bottom. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find here. Oh, here's a cute little girl with her sheep. Hand painted RFW. So that might be a hobbyist piece that was hand painted. Looks like the book end is still there. I don't know if this is just a little ring dish. $3.49 for that. Put your rings on there. I don't know, a little ring dish for beside your bed. Throw your rings on there. It's got like a spiral thing. I don't see any markings on it or anything, but it's kind of a nice little dish. I think this is supposed to look like a McCoy frog, but it's not a McCoy frog. <laughs> looks like one. Let's keep going this way. This looks like a beautiful consolidated glass piece, but unfortunately there is a ton of chipping around the edge. That seems to be the case a lot of the times when I find consolidated glass, which is a total bummer because it is a beautiful piece, but with that, it, I just it's not really forgivable. So we're going to have to pass on that. Somebody's got their hook rug art here, and I see a piece behind it. Is that an original or is that like a... I can't really tell. Ooh, shoot. I can't tell if that's an original or not. I might get Andrew's opinion on that, because juggling this one-handed is not really working for me. I can 
kind of feel it. Oh, I can see the texture, but I don't know. It's a neat piece. We have so much artwork, though. I really got to see what Andrew thinks about that before I commit. What do you think of this? Margot Alexander. Like, it's got a leaf to it. I mean... It's like, the scenery is like 18... Is it? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like, I'm torn because we have so much artwork. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's a nice piece, but I'm going to leave you with the cart while I explore, okay? Okay. These are really sweet. Kind of look like home goods or something, but they've got little birds. This always makes me super nervous. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a nice hand painted Nippon piece. I like the flowers on those. Scooch that in a little bit. There's no price on it. I mean, they might have a blank. Oh, there's no price on it. But that means it's free. I don't know. Eh, I don't know if it's worth that. For the hassle. <laughs> I, would, I would put it back. But that's just me. This is two dollars and forty-nine cents. Unfortunately, we've got damage here on the ear that somebody—I don't know if they put like clay or something to try to fix it. Cute little kittens in the basket. I've got a, what is this? Saint Nicholas Square. It's kind of a sweet little plate down there for five dollars and forty-nine cents. I don't know what that goes for though. What is that? I'll take that for a dollar. Why? Sell for forty. Oh, look at that! Forty bucks. Very nice. It's a cute little tin. Very nicely done, Andrew. I <laughs> Just found this anthropology mug on the shelf for ninety-nine cents. That's a good one. What is it? Anthropology. Good mug. And uh, I noticed this salt glaze piece. It's more contemporary, but it's a nice little picture. I kind of like the ribbing up here. I think that's a nice, a nice one. Look at that. That's a good, a good piece. I mean, it's contemporary, but I like it. Really seeing anything else here on the shelf? I think we're just about done here. This Mikasa Potter's Touch Aztec Blue. I like the pattern on that. Looks like we've got more of this Aztec Blue down here. And I was just noticing we have the creamer and sugar. So I think we're gonna. We're gonna pile them in here with the rest of our stuff and make everyone nervous. I'm not really sure. Let's, let's see how much these are because they price everything separately. So it's $2 a piece for these. I may have to look those up just to be more confident on, on that. But there are a lot of cups and saucers. Nine cups. Three, six, nine, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Yeah, twelve. And since we already grabbed the sugar and creamer, Incredible. might as well grab the gravy boat. I even said I was like, hey, maybe the teapot will still be here. I know. I literally just picked that up and set it down, and then I saw the creamer and sugar, and I'm like, all right, you know what? Maybe it is worth looking up. I would love to find some of the coffee cups, but there's no coffee cups. There's just the teacups and saucers. Look at this. It's got a peacock on it. Unfortunately, somebody decided to put felt all over the bottom, which was kind of a weird decision. Oh, did you find a seductive angel? I did. there. <laughs> He's pretty cute. Alright, so we always check here to see if we have any glassy babies. We never find any, and I don't think today's going to be any different. But we're going to check. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this little guy. 
Oh, he's a little hand-painted ceramic. He's got a chip on him, that's why I left him there. I'm not really seeing anything else that's catching my eye. These back here, I think, are just, yeah, modern. It looks from here like they could have been pewter, but they were not, so. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is wrong with his butt? It's missing, it's missing its whiskers. It had whiskers. I was really confused why his mouth was yellow, but also I'm confused by his body. He looks like a ghost cat. <laughs> it's confusing. All right, so I was just poking through the purses, looking for something that would catch my eye, and I found this. Um, it's marked on the inside Fry, F-R-Y, and what I noticed about it is it has a, a since 1863, I don't know, and it just, it seems like it's good quality. So I looked it up, and I guess they sell pretty well. This one needs some leather conditioner and needs cleaned up a bit, but it's in pretty good condition, so I think I'm going to grab that one. Alright, well our total spend here at the Goodwill today was $60. We didn't find a whole lot, but we found a few good things. I feel like that purse there at the end was amazing. I'm super excited about that. I feel like that's going to do well. After, of course, I get it cleaned up a little bit with some leather cleaner or whatever it is you do to clean purses like that. I don't even know. Maybe I should just sell it as is and let somebody else clean it. Um, but no, I was really excited about the purse at the end. Andrew was excited about his artwork. Hey, for $12.50, why not? It's $12.50, yes. So we're going to get out of here now. Um, obviously, this is not a full video because it's kind of short. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.